So here was a question. You want to get a real world feel of implementing machine learning techniques in the equities markets. So what I can do is I will just go through the decision trees uh, code for that matter. And we'll try to see how it looks like in the blue shift environment. All right. So it's a simple one. So our decision tree is basically classification. We are using the classification model over here. The asset over here is ACC, which is an Indian uh, company. And we have used the Talib library for the technical indicators and which will be the predictor variables. So here we have ADX, RSI, and the simple moving average as the three variables. So this is simple. We have just uh, defined them. We have used ADX, RSI, and SME. We have used the Talib library. So accordingly, we have passed the parameters for that. We have various time period as 14 for ADX, 14 for RSI, and SMA as 20. So, and we have just printed that. Now, this is uh, a simple one. We have used just three uh, technical indicators for the predictors. You can use different ones. For example, you can have the returns. We, you can have the returns of the past uh, like five days for that matter if you feel that it is good for predicting it. So this is just for reference. You can obviously tweak it and customize it for your own benefit and see how it works for you. Now, obviously this is the predictor and but then what are we predicting exactly? So we are going to predict the future returns. Now we will try to predict the return one day in the future. So here we use the shift uh, value from Python and which shifts the value by whatever number of periods you want. Since it is one, it will be one, but then you want it for the future. So we are shifting it by minus one. So that part is done and we will store it in the return variable and we use a target which is like a signal wherein we are checking if the return is more than zero. If it is, then the signal will be one, which means that you want to buy the next day, right? And if it is not, then you would simply uh, have no position or if you have already bought it, you will sell it. So accordingly, you have created the data set. Now, obviously it is a machine learning model, so you have to train and test it. So this is where you will first split it in X train and X test. We are using the percentage as 80% train, 20% as test. So that part is done. And then you are using the decision tree classifier uh, module from the sklearn.tree method. So the great thing about Python is there are uh, already libraries which have been built based on certain characteristics. And if you want machine learning, sklearn is a pretty popular one for that matter. So you can use sklearn to create your own machine learning models. And what it does is uh, gets out the code out of the way and keeps it to a minimum. So over here, it is just a matter of, you just have to have three parameters. The criterion is Jimmy. The depth is three, which means you're going only three uh, as depth and the sample leaf is five. So that part is done. Once you have created and initialized the model, you will try to fit it on a data set. So first we train the model and then we actually see how it looks like. So here, now what is exactly decision tree? 
so in a decision tree it checks the data set and according to its own methodology it ranks the predictor variables and it finds out which predictor has greater uh, power in estimating the target variable so here it realized that sma is pretty good at it so it first checks the sma values now here the condition is sma which is less than or equal to 1766 so if it is true we go on the left side as you know it is a tree so you go one by one now it checks whether it is less than 1662 it goes if it is true, it will check the ADX value. And then finally, it gives you the value. So here is a simple value of a simple condition. If SMA is less than 1766, move further, go to SMA again and check if it is less than 1662. And if it is more than 33, it belongs to class one, which is going long basically so that is how the decision tree module has trained itself now obviously it is a machine learning model and it has been trained on a set so but then you have to find out whether it is good or not so we will have the prediction and how can you check the prediction you use the various metrics such as precision recall now i would have said accuracy but then accuracy does not give you the full picture uh, you would think that uh, the accuracy is good but then if you check uh, like there is a simple example now if the if we check the index and if we take last 20 years of data uh, we have around let's say 20,000 data points. And if we say that out of those 20,000 data points, 95% uh, of the time uh, it increased. So, which means that it gave a signal of one, whereas only 5% of the time it gave a value of zero. So, if you think about it, the machine learning model might just give the value of one every time which means that it was right 95% of the time and only 5% of the time it was wrong. So the accuracy would be 95% and you would think that this is great and this is a good model. I would like to implement this in the live trading environment and like make millions out of it. Uh, that is not exactly the scenario. Uh, it could be the case that of the 5% when it wasn't right, the, there were various black swan events. The market crashed, for example, in 2007, recently in 2020, where if you were there in the market, you would face a huge drawdown and maybe your stop loss could have been hit in that matter. So that is why you do not just look at the accuracy. You also look how many times it actually predicted the right answer and how many times it was right. So that is where precision and recall comes in. So this is the decision tree model. 